remember that time I still haven't uploaded the new intro that I definitely edited uh, into StreamYard, so we haven't used it yet. It's fine. <sighs> the way it. Fantasia, we'll never get it. We will never we get it. it. I swear to God. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we would just never. Oh, no. It's, <laughs> it's not okay, but it's not right, but it's okay. I it's guess. not right, but it's okay. Whitney, come on, Whitney. Where are you at? Oh, anyway. <laughs> We love Rest Whitney. Power, Whitney. <laughs> uh, icon. <sighs> Welcome uh, to the cup, the currently unnamed podcast, where the tea is piping hot and we are ready to spill. I'm Logan Murphy, here tonight, not with tea, but with wine, and I've been drinking a lot of it. Hi. Fancy. Hi, baddies. It's Taj with the fatty, here to give you the tea for you and me. I don't have wine. Today is a very beautiful day. We have Mountain Dew. Just as a feeling of the tea, you know, but it's okay. Period. And hello, I am Lana, your resident diva, the purple haired dip. Uh, di I don't even know what I'm about to say. Never mind. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was going to be hot, cute. Though, that was hot, Lana. Almost there. Almost had <laughs> it. Like, okay. Maybe next week. Maybe next week I'll remember what I was going to say, but you know. You sure. It's the resident diva with the purple hair today, but it might not be purple always. But okay, and I don't have tea either or wine, but Taja, I have Mountain Dew as well. Oh, so we go like sip, it. sip, and clink it up. It is. Oh my god, I, I mean, love that. You know, because I have to stay in it, and Mountain Dew keeps me going. So let's do this. We are talking about the amazing race today. Awesome. So let's talk about it. Ep episode four? What? According episode to Paramount four. Plus, it's episode four. I mean, four <laughs> episodes, okay? Let's do sure. this. Sure. We jump back in after 19 months 19? of being away. I know, like, over a year, they had to stop this race mm -hmm. and just come back. They started back in Scotland. No. Oh. No. Not Scotland, Switzerland. St. Gallen, Switzerland. Switzerland. Scotland uh, was before. They ended in Scotland. They ended they in Scotland. And not in Switzerland. Yeah. Now they we're back in Switzerland. Yes, yes. Switzerland. And we come back and we have three teams. Four teams missing? Four what teams? Five missing. teams, right? Four. It's four. Four. Four teams four. missing. This coming back. So. Let's talk about the teams missing. Most of the teams I had on my draft. <laughs> oh, that... I literally went, no, when I tell y'all, I, I went from four teams represented to one. Oh. I only have Queen Sherry left. Oh. <laughs> Queen Sherry. Yeah. Uh, Queen uh, Sherry. We will talk about we'll Queen We'll talk Sherry. about it. Oh, that's so but sad, yeah. Logan. But yes. Yeah. So I what know. Teams, so what teams are here now? What teams yeah. came so, back after 19 months? So the teams we had that came back were Ryan and Dusty, the guy who has a documentary because he was wrongfully accused in prison, all that stuff. Tim mm -hmm. and Penn, the mm -hmm. YouTube family vlog people. Um, Raquel and Kayla, the because of COVID laid off flight attendants. Mm -hmm. um, Lulu and Lala, the twins, the radio hosts. And Akbar and Sherry, icons, legends, beautiful, wonderful people. We are missing four teams. Now, we know a few reasons. There's a couple reasons we know that are confirmed. There's a few things we've heard through the grapevine. So we don't know if they're 100% true. But we know that Connie and Sam did not come back because Connie had their fourth child uh, while I, I believe she was pregnant when the race started. Um, so congratulations oh, she was pregnant to all. during it? Like no, she was pregnant at the restart. So she was pregnant after, in September oh, of last okay. year. Yeah. And it just doesn't look good for a pregnant woman to be hiking well, around. The I don't think I actually don't think pregnant people are allowed to run the amazing race. I don't think because they do a lot of stuff that could yeah. cause mm -hmm. very much some some issues with the baby. So it could be yeah, right? complica yeah. Mm -mm. Complica and traveling is definitely difficult for pregnant women. So uh, oh yeah, yeah, especially later on in their pregnancy. Mm -hmm. So yeah, think, imagine having your baby while doing the amazing race. Like, hold on, I need to. Can I just get on the finish map first? Like, okay. It's like, yeah, you're sorry. In place, but you're a mom, so congrats. <laughs> Literally, you're a mom, so non-elimination. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, but yes, so Connie and Sam did not return. Kara and Ray did not return uh, because in the time in between the restart and the original, uh, they broke up and she moved mm-hmm. to Spain or Serbia or some or European country. Yeah. Um, somewhere in Europe. Out. <laughs> yes. That's saving grace. I was like, it sucks that, you know, whatever happened with the citizenship or whatever, mm-hmm. she got out. She got, got out. Crazy. Yes. Um, Anthony and Spencer, one of the front runners, also did not come back. Um, we've heard a few things. The resounding number one reason is that Anthony landed a financial advisor job that he had been working for for years and couldn't take an extended leave of absence, which is understandable. Congrats on that mm-hmm. if that is the case. And our gays. We lost our gays, and I'm sad. Um, presumably, I believe, because of a family death, so condolences mm-hmm. in that regard. But, um, yes. So, we had five teams. I think the five teams you were thinking of, Taja, was because when we come back, there's five teams. Yes. And then Phil is like, um, so, not all the teams came back. So, we're going to bring back the first two boots. <laughs> and, you know, I wasn't too bad about that. I wasn't mad I, about I, that either. I wasn't mad at all. I, I, actually, at all. I felt like that was the fair thing to do. Yes. Because yes. it's like, if so many teams couldn't come back, why not bring back the two teams and give them a second chance to, you know, right some wrongs and do some, mm-hmm. you know, some things. And so, or, I was... Hypothetically... I mean, I'm just saying, we, 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 I don't, I'm just saying, I don't, um, it was a fair thing to do to let these teams come back. And I was very much happy to see both of those teams come back and get Mm -hmm. a chance to run the race because not a lot of teams get to do that. Not a lot. And this is a special season anyway. mm -hmm. I mean, this has been some very much unprecedented terms right now. Mm -hmm. No teams ever on the Amazing Race had started a race and had to literally stop the race, get a chance to run a couple of legs, stop. Go away and then all come back and start it again. Months, nineteen months. Later. That's, could you imagine the no. difference you are? How different you are in nineteen months? We'll come back to this video in nineteen months and we'll right, come and, again and be like, and when, we're, again. when we're at when we get our uh, silver play button when we're at hundred k, <laughs> you know, we'll come back then. The but like uh, things, how, how different you change and even. <clears throat> Even if it's not physical change, just mentally, and then going through this COVID, this lockdown, this they had to literally come out of game mode because they were in race mode. Mm-hmm. It was like, it's a difference. You're in race mode. You're ready to go, go, go. Now it's like, stop. Go home. Deal with real life mm-hmm. issues. And I then come, come yeah. back and do it again. That's a lot. And I honestly wouldn't have been surprised if not a lot if even more teams didn't come back right. because that's a lot to deal with but i'm glad for the teams that did come back and i'm happy for the teams who got to come back and redo it again i feel bad for the teams that couldn't come back for whatever reason but like we were talking about before we came on air i hope those who didn't get to come back get an opportunity to come back yes. and get a chance to do this again because i feel like they weren't none of them were eliminated and they should have time a chance to See if they can really complete this race. Yeah, exactly. See if they can give them the opportunity to complete it. Even though I was, I was glad, you know, the last team that was eliminated, I did get a little upset and I did shed a tear too because yeah. the father, English is not his native language. Oh, so we have to memorize things. And he just kept telling her, like, it's fine, it's fine. And I literally was like was on Zoom watching with people and I was just like teared up. I'm like, he's such a good dad. Like he's not being mean and she's not being she's like, Dad, it's okay, don't cry. And I was like, oh I was like, oh my god, it's like oh my god. She got so emotional. It was so great. Mm-hmm. It was so great. So I was glad they came back. But then we start got an update on what these teams have been through in the na- last 19 months. Uh, and so that was like, okay, so I'm going to start with uh, the twins and their story <laughs> choked me up the most. I want to get that out the way before I uh-huh. please do, please do. Because they lost their grandmother while they were on the race in the beginning. So they didn't get a chance to be there for her. But they were saying before they left, she told them, that they have to finish this race no matter what. And they have to finish the race. So the fact that they got to go home, grieve with their family in that 19 months, and then get to say, okay, now 
I can go back and finish this for our grandmother. That touched my entire soul. Mm -hmm. I was like trying not to cry and me trying to do double duty, watching Amazing Race and playing a game at the same time that thank you, Isaiah, Um, for asking me to join and play a game when it's Amazing Race time. And I'm like, are you serious? I'm supposed to be watching this for a podcast. But I did it. Mm-hmm. I did it. <laughs> but I'm boss. She, she could do it. I did it. I did it. Mm-hmm. But stopping, like, putting myself on mute and turn the camera off because I'm watching this story and I'm just like, oh, okay, don't don't you cry, girl. Uh, right. Uh, I was don't ugly. you cry. I didn't care. I was like, they are now I hope well, okay. because of because of who they are and because of their story. They're like, I want them to win the most. I think because I, I do. I really yeah. like them. They've grown on me in the episodes that we've seen. It seems like, I would say, honestly, I think they came back with the most improved headspace. Mm. Because they really had their issues in the first couple of legs. And then it seems like this leg, they really were like, oh, no, we got this. Yeah. I felt like that about a couple of teams. And we'll talk about mm-hmm. it. But I feel like my perspective on a lot of teams have changed that I saw I I wasn't like okay so moving on from them because um now we're talking about the flight attendants who lost their jobs yeah. at, during COVID time and as y'all know I was not a full-blown fan of of the team and it's not even Jacqueline it was um who's Jacqueline not Jacqueline. Raquel. Raquel. Ra- Who is Jacqueline? You I didn't, know what I came you, didn't from. you didn't like Kayla. Kayla. I don't even know where Jacqueline came from. I don't know. Survivor? Her. Survivor, don't, maybe? Well, it's kind of like Jacqueline kind of sounds like if you mix both their names and stuff. But it's I mean it's I, a good name, but that she was see, she is I not on the show. See, Ra- me, Raquel. Me, me being the super fan, I immediately went to the iconic Natalie Anderson. Jacqueline, did you vote for who I said to vote for? <laughs> okay, I'm playing this on Jacqueline. That's immediately where my head went. I know a Jacqueline too. I do. I do too. I, I do too. I do know a Jacqueline, which is so weird, and I don't even know where that came from. Mm-hmm. But Raquel and and um, who? What was her other Kay- name? So Kayla. I Kayla. So Kay- I'm about to say so I don't screw that up either. Kayla with yeah. a C. With a C. And so <laughs> I wasn't a fan of Kayla with a C. And Raquel when they left. But coming back this time around, I feel like they went through some things. Mm-hmm. They 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 had some ups and downs in their personal and you know career wise or whatever. But they came back focused and not too, you know, like uh she wasn't over the top like she was before. She didn't annoy me. Like, oh my God, y'all know before she was just like. I was very much annoyed by her. Mm-hmm. I was like, <laughs> go check out our last two episodes if you want yeah, to see. Yeah, I was how not I was <laughs> I was not feeling her. But I feel like she's growing on me. It's just that this last this episode they were going they were working together. They weren't like we you know, they weren't trying to do more than they needed to do. They did just what they needed to do. They were focused on trying to win this. They were not tearing down the other girl. Like they weren't tearing down the twins to get to the top. You know, they were working together. They were mm-hmm. we they made this vow that they wanted the, the women teams to work together so they can get to the end and some a women team yes, win ma'am. this thing. And I was like, I'm here for these girls doing what they doing and they peeping the, the game of the other boys. We'll talk about them in uh-huh. a second. <laughs> so I'm my my mindset has changed towards Jack, uh, Raquel, and, and Kate. Uh, yeah, them. It's it's late. Yeah. Now. Sorry. Yeah, no. I was <laughs> I was trying to look up the last all female team to win the Amazing Race, and I genuinely can't remember. Now, um, Lana, you were so you were talking about like your mindset for them has been um, positive, positively changed. But, and that's how I felt about, you know, the twins. Cause now I feel like they have like even more oomph to win. Mm-hmm. And the grandma story like resonates with me so much. Cause I was, I was a grandma's girl. So like the fact mm-hmm. that they're like, you know, um, they can do that for her and really push through is amazing. But for both of you, is there a team that you just are kind of just like, mm, like, uh, mm, uh, mm. that will be rusty. And Ryan, I've called Ryan and Rusty. Ryan and, and are, Rusty. 
they are rusty. They are rusty. I feel like I didn't really have a issue with them before. It was just like, and I don't think I have an issue with them now. I just don't want them to win. I feel like there it'll be so cliche if they won. And I don't want cliche. Not in this season. This season has too many good people who I feel like, and I won't say deserves, because I think everybody who makes it on the show deserves to win. Don't get me wrong. I just feel like they will be very much a cliche winner. They, 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 it's just, I just don't. I just like the physically fit boys who so many good at stuff and, and keep getting first. And, and all so all many, all, and so many straight all male teams win I, a lot of yeah. the time. And it's yeah. just like, I, I agree with you, Lana. I, I would, I would like something different. I wanted something season. different. And I feel like I want to be able to. Whoever wins, I can be like, I see something in them that I can relate to. It's nothing mm-hmm. about Rusty that I can relate to. None of none of, nothing about them that I'm, I, I personally can relate to. So I I'm like, like, I'm like, you know, you I mean, them. they look I right. Okay, can we? I'm so Ryan, sorry to thir- I'm so sorry to thirst for a second. Ryan has great legs, and that's all I noticed throughout, like the entire he roadblock. He I was like, like stacked like a stallion. I was like, I was like, okay, thighs, okay, and see, calves. And see, this is what the thing is with them. I think they did it right, though. This is my kudos to Ryan and Dusty. They did it right. They took the 19 months and they got themselves even in better <laughs> shape than they did yeah. when they were there the first time. And that is something I felt like every team should have should Mm -hmm. take that time to do because I'm like, you have a rare opportunity that nobody is, you see, you ran two legs. So, you know, your weaknesses, you know what you can and can't do, you know, your stamina. Mm -hmm. So I would have taken that 19 months as hard as it would have been, but I would have been hitting it. I would have hit it. You don't know when they will go call you back. So from the moment I got home, I was going to start working on my weaknesses Mm -hmm. Whether whether it be working out, whether it be learning how to drive stick, whether it be learning how to read a map, whether it be learning new languages, I would have been on it. Like I would have been eating, breathing, sleeping, amazing race training right. from the time they sent me home to the time they called me back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I feel like Ryan and Dusty, they did that. And that is why I feel like they really do have a big, great chance of winning this thing because they did. Do I don't want them to, but they don't want them to. <laughs> but they put in the work. So even if they did, I would understand it because they put yeah. in the work to get that point. Mm-hmm. I just felt like some teams didn't. And I don't understand that. I would say the other team that on a similar note to that, like not that I dislike them because I still really like them, but another team that it seems like really took the time um, to sort of build up their skills were Raquel and Kayla, specifically mm-hmm. Raquel complaining about how the car they're driving is automatic. Which yes. is like, I wanted to show off my newfound stick shift. And that is so so I'm like, yes, that's, that's what I want to see. Like, yeah. I don't understand. Like, I didn't understand how anybody, first of all, coming on this race, don't know how to, at least one of them know how to drive a stick. Because you have you have to know, um, if you watch any season of The Amazing Race, you learn should know somebody has to. Learn how to do stick. You have to learn, you have to learn stuff like that. You have to. Those are like essential things that you should learn before you go on a race. Like I wouldn't go on Big Brother and not know what a veto is and not know what a HOH is because I w- want to do the best I can. Not and- everyone is, not everyone is Derek X and can learn on the fly and succeed the way that he did. Right. Some people need to know stuff. So I feel like anytime you, you get casted on a show, you should be able to you you should know something about the show. You should know something. And learning how to drive a stick is something you should know. Mm-hmm. At least one of y'all. Especially, yeah, if you're going on the show, if you're just like plain Jane and like you whatever, mm-hmm. go, go, do what you got to do. But like, come on. Like, you learn know to drive a stick. Do. Learn to read a map. And when mm-hmm. Raquel said something about, um, did she say something about she meditates every morning or something? I feel like someone did. I don't remember who. I feel like it was her in that she uses that to like, Zen out and to help Kayla <coughs> as well. Mm-hmm. I think it was her. It was either that. Raquel That's or it was smart or it was Kim. It was Raquel or Kim. I don't remember. 
Which one? Well, whoever did, that's smart because mm -hmm. when your mind is right, you can use mm -hmm. your body right, you can, mm -hmm. you know, they're working on their body, but you have to get this. And meditating works. Oh, it works. Especially when you can Absolutely. meditate off rip, when you can just like. I do it every day. A I lot do it of teams, every single yeah. day. I'll say a lot of teams mess up when they're doing stuff and they freak out and they're like, oh my God, I can't. I can't. And they just, it's like, you need to pause, mm -hmm. pray. And proceed, and then you're good. Exactly. So whoever like, did that, like, kudos to them. Yeah, definitely. Because, like, that's all I was telling me and my sister was talking about. It. I was like, one thing for sure, if I went on an amazing risk with my sister, she would definitely take care of the driving because she knows how to drive a stick. And that's why I, that's the reason why I would take her with me. Mm -hmm. She knows how to drive a stick. I know how to read a map. We would never mm -hmm. get lost. Even if it's a, okay, hold on, let's pull over. Mm -hmm. Take a minute. Let me pull out my map. The first thing I'm doing when I get somewhere is grabbing a map of the city or the state or the country or whatever. And I'm like, let's take a minute. I'm going to find where we are. Find where we're going. Mark that down. Bam, mm -hmm. bam. So now, okay, let's get in the car. Even if it takes me 5, 10, 15 minutes, that's fine. We won't get lost. It's better and than it, getting lost and wasting And, all and driving time. for hours the yes. opposite direction. They're really being mad. Right, or then you have to keep stopping asking for directions and yeah. somebody giving you directions two different ways. So I'm yeah. like, just mm -hmm. people just need to learn how, like you said, meditate, take that minute, breathe, and then go on and do what you got to do. But, I love that. But, I love that pause, pray, and proceed, Taja. I love that. Mm -hmm. I love like, that. I, I might just take that in my everyday life, honestly. It should be. Uh, it should be in everybody's life because we need honestly. to just take a minute, pause, pray. Mm -hmm. Then proceed. Lynn, I'm from AA. Oh, hey, wow. hey. Yes. Yes. Look at it coming into play. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah. So we have seven teams. Mm -hmm. We are starting in St. Gallen, Switzerland. Uh, and they have to run to find this museum where there are buses parked outside, first come, first serve, to go to, I wrote it down, huh? Schwagalp. Mm -hmm. Schwagalp. Okay, one thing real quick. <laughs> we did, Phil did have to mention the safety guidelines that they are taking now due to COVID. So we should talk about that real quick. They will fly private planes from this point on. There's no more going to airports, no more commercial flights, just to make sure that the crew and cast are safe. Mm -hmm. And also, no more public transportation. They will drive mostly everywhere they go if it's not a walking or running thing so they won't take buses and cabs or anything like that anymore no more trains across the from one country to the next is all going to be mostly driving themselves due to safety okay so now we're going to yes. the museum jumping yes. on this private buses the private buses um to shrug up um mm -hmm. and it doesn't really matter who's on what bus because they all show up at the same time um, I'm like, that kind of killed it a little bit. You gotta kill the mood. I thought, the buses, I thought the buses were gonna be like delayed by like five minutes or 30 something. minutes or something like me too. I thought like, like even five, five minutes, minutes would make a huge difference because of how the like, um, oh, what is it called? The ski lift, how the right. ski lifts are working, like because they were every 10 minutes or something. Mm -hmm. Um, but yes, yeah, so everyone gets to the top of this ski lift in Schwagalp. Um, at 8,000 feet, we get the first roadblock uh, of the restart. Uh, who wants to take in the view? You have to hike this kind of treacherous path to get to this point where you can stand and see six countries at once. That's very That's cute. fucking cool. This is one That's of the very coolest. Cute. This is one of the coolest <laughs> tasks on Amazing Race that I've ever seen. I would it's absolutely, I would never do it. Right, it's <laughs> fucking cool. <laughs> it is like when he was explaining it, and he was standing on the mountain, and he was like so pointing cool. out what this could. I was like, "That is amazing." I, I wrote them down. Want to do? I that. wrote them down. <laughs> yeah, that is so amazing that you could see all those countries from this point. That is mm -hmm. beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now, I would never want to do it because I feel Hell like... no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely no. Absolutely not. For nope. more than one reason. Number one, standing on that mountain would freak me the freak out. I, I can't. Number two, I, climbing that mountain would kill me. So, mm -hmm. let's say no. And you saw me. when they was walking, if two teams were... I'm like, what? bitch, you better stay right. I'm like, bitch, don't you move. <laughs> don't bump me neither. I will I will shove you. Don't do that. 
child, though, that was not for me. That was not for me. That's not a roadblock. I mean, if I did it, I would have been Sherry in this roadblock. Oh, if that would have oh, been no. me doing it. As long as Eddie no. wins the race, I'd have been like, I'm like, Baby, I'm like thank you. I would tell my partner, if you want me to do this, you would be lucky if I finish this. So you <laughs> don't yell at me. Don't yell at me. Don't be looking at me all disappointed when I come back. Jump. I will I will push you off this mountain if you say something to me. I promise you I, I will. I'll sit my big ass right now and be like, you just costed us a million dollars. Keep yelling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> another 10 minutes, mm -hmm. I'm going to sit my big ass down. Keep yep. going to go fishing. I promise my, you. My roommate and I watched it together, and we were like, who would do this between the two of us? And he was like, I'd gladly do it. And I'm like, okay, good, because this is not my task. Not my well, robot. Like, and this is not even <laughs> Sherry or anything. But, like, Aqua had, like, such a big issue with, like, Come on, you need to hurry up with the whole running and the blah 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 blah. We we discussed that, you know, like her had having kids. She is like slim. She's thick arms. She had them big big old tiggle bitties. Why would you have the tiggle bitties? Oh, like well, that's she, what I was okay. She and volunteered she she is the thing. She volunteered is the thing. Like we see her going up in the ski lift, being like, "I'm terrified of heights." Mm -hmm. And then she volunteers to do it. What I will say is I really love the fact, like, the whole, and, like, it didn't get them eliminated. We'll talk about it. But, like, they're going through this whole thing, and she's like, I'm scared of heights, but I'm going to do this, A, mm -hmm. because I feel like with how narrow the path is, Akbar's going to really struggle. And I do honestly think Akbar would have struggled. I think he would have finished faster than Sherry did. But I think he would have struggled as well. I think as long as he stayed with the pack, it would have been maybe okay. But she was like, I'm scared of this, but I want to face my fears. And that truly, for me at least, is one of the big tenets of Amazing Race. Is like, mm -hmm. go on, travel the world for free. Get paid, basically, to travel the world. Because they get paid per leg you last. Spoiler. Mm -hmm. um, and like face whatever fears you have. Like, mm -hmm. if I had an opportunity to bungee jump, absolutely, fucking lootly I'm doing it because I'm terrified of that shit and I want to do it. Like, because I know this is a safe, like, secure environment where I can do that. Mm -hmm. So, like, I really respected her in that regard. Oh, I respected mm -hmm. her. She didn't do well as far as their pacing and all I mean, of that. But... Was... Back. Kudos. Kud mm -hmm. Look, kudos that you did it, honey, because yeah. that would have been me. I would have taken my time. I'm not going to run it because I, you know who you are as a person. You know your stamina. You know your mm -hmm. athletic abilities. She wasn't trying to, she couldn't, she knew she wasn't going to compete with no, like, Rusty. She wasn't trying to compete with them. She wasn't even trying to compete with Lala and or, and, or even and Mo, because Mo finished Mo. sex. Like, yeah. like, you're not going to compete with that. So it's like, I'm not trying. All I want to do I'm not gonna is finish my it. Ass. I'm not going to fall off this damn cliff. No. no. I'm not. But And what I also appreciated about that segment was her guide. Her guide. Yes. Let, I don't know who you are, sir, but kudos, kudos to, you. to you. You, sir, made me go like, he was just like, you take your time. We gonna finish this. It's no rush. Take small steps. He was her hand 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 the entire time. time. I was like, sir, you just, that's what, a, number one, that's what an instructor and a guide is supposed to do. That's your job. And that's what a man is supposed to do. That is Amen. your job. So you did that, sir. And whoever you are, Mr. Man in Switzerland, I salute you. He you was cute, that. too. And he was cute. Mm -hmm. I want to say, speaking of instructors, I felt so bad for Penn's instructor. Because he <laughs> just had to keep up with Penn the whole time. And they make it to the clue box. And this guy is very clearly, like incredibly winded and Penn's like all right let's go let's pass all these teams and I'm like oh I feel God. like they should have like set people up differently like you know with Sherry like you're gonna be able to take your time but you know with like all these other ones you're like you need to find an instructor who's who can like go 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 but they still they still did really good so it don't matter yeah right oh it was it was it was definitely a cool Roadblock. I felt like it was cool. Like, who wouldn't want to go look and stand at this peak and look at six countries at one time? That's great. But I just feel like, yeah, those instructors, kudos to them for dealing with all that and 
doing your jobs the best that you could. And they I'm did. like, I need two instructors. <laughs> Can I just get like from uh-huh. on each side? Just, just protect my big ass, please. They were great. I enjoyed watching that. But we go, we we move. They get off the mountain. Everybody's on the trolley going down, except for Siri and Akbar. And um, everybody's like, oh, we're on the thing, except them. I'm like, okay, y'all ain't had to point that out, but okay, go ahead. Like, Bye. We, right. know, like- we, we, we see it. We see it, too. You ain't got to yeah. try to call them out like that, but whatever. Right. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. So, yeah, fine. So what, tell us what's next, Logan. They go down so there. they have to drive themselves to Gastaus Son in the village of Ornash. Mm-hmm. All of these pronunciations are bad, but... Um, they go there, and the first to the clue box is the cops, and I was like, this is positive, this is lovely, no, but sure. Great for them. Look, they needed a chance to have a first place somewhere. In part of a leg, they got it, they did They got their first place, they were there first. All matters, you know. So then we find (laughs) out at the guest house son that it is the detour, and it is punch it or toss it. Punch Mm -hmm. it is making a custom belt with ornaments that tells a specific story because of Swiss lore, Mm -hmm. culture, whatever. I thought it was really cool. We'll talk about it a little bit more. And then toss it. I wrote down the word for this because I wanted to say it. Um, They have to learn a flag tossing routine, which is also known as fun and swinging. Fun swinging. Fun and swinging, (laughs) which I think translates directly to fan swinging or Mm -hmm. fan throwing, which I love. That that makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Fun and swinging. Okay. Um, But yes, so most of the teams end up choosing that, Mm -hmm. choosing the toss it task. The only teams that do the punch it are Mike and Mo and Arun and Natalia. Um, what? what, what, what wait, Dusty chose that too? Ryan and Dusty went to the flag tossing. Oh, uh, uh-huh. sure did. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. What? Which one w- would y'all have done? I would have done the to- the flag tossing too. I sent me fears Same. because I, I like choreo really quickly too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I can retain Same. that. I can retain yeah. like okay, wah, wah, flip it. And I've all I wanted to be a flag girl in high school, so I used to try to uh-huh. like do, use my broom. And so I was like, ah. yes. Well, and the thing was, is, the thing and then is- like, go ahead. Oh no, you go ahead, hon. And oh, and then my sister was a majorette. And then uh-uh. my dad, told, so and then my dad told her she couldn't do it because he didn't like the outfits, so she couldn't do it. Uh-huh. And, and so he told her she could be a flag girl, but she was like, "I was a majorette. I don't want to be a flag girl." So fair, fair, so, fair. Oh, fair. Yeah. What I was yeah. gonna say is, with what we saw of the punch it task, it seemed so arbitrary. It's like, oh, here are these little ornaments figure it out <clears throat> and it's like did they have the story are Arun right. and Natalia just very smart and figured it out like I was kind of like I was confused by the whole situation honestly okay but wasn't there a prototype that they look at I think it was, so it was it was the man had the prototype of what they were supposed to do And all you had to do was go look at it and then copy it. Which this is okay. This is where my annoyance came in at this this detour right here. Because I was like, once again, these cops don't follow instructions. You get to the detour, or you're not paying, you're not seeing the even like instructions, it's just like Look at things around you, like uh, just going. You're head not for, paying for, for attention. For like, how could you not pay it? Like, they gave them a paper with the instructions on the paper. Read the instruct. Don't just go in grabbing stuff and doing stuff. But this is a typical man thing. Men don't like to read directions. They always feel like they got it. They know what they're doing. I'll just go go in there and be a man and pop, 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 pop. And it's wrong. It's wrong. Completely wrong. And especially they're cops. So, you know, they already have this type of, not saying all cops. So Macho machismo attitude. Jump me in the YouTube comments. Mm-hmm. 
but like a lot of cops have this, you know, mm-hmm. already yeah. in the back of their men mm-hmm. and they're, you know, they're, <clears throat> I'm just like, <sighs> it's just like, and I'm like, y'all went through this the first time you got out of not paying attention. <laughs> 19 not, months later? Then uh, 19 months later, you can't come back and read instructions? Well, so the interesting thing for me, it begs the question of when did Michael and Mo and Arun and Natalia find out they were going to be able to come back? That's it, had kind to be of, afterwards. it had to be after they found out that everybody couldn't come back. But then, like, my question really is, like, what's the timeline for that? Because, like, mm-hmm. it feels, like, I don't want to say it feels unfair, but it feels like all of the teams that knew they were coming back were like, okay, we are for sure coming back mm-hmm. at some point in the future. So mm-hmm. let's do all this prep. And it feels yes. like Mike and Mo were kind of like, oh, we were first boot, cool, whatever. We went to London, whatever. And then whenever they, like, figured it out, they didn't really, like, have the time right. to sort of hone their skills, it almost feels like. And it feels that way a little bit as well with Arun and Natalia. Yeah, they um, didn't get them the whole 19 months to come back and yeah. say, we didn't, like we said, go and <laughs> do what they had to do and come back. But Unless their original plan was to bring all 11 teams back, which I maybe. hope, I don't but know. I, don't, I don't know. But I so. feel like even with that, it's just they just don't follow instructions, which to me is like a huge thing in the amazing. Like I know when I read a book, sometimes I skip over some parts when I'm reading because I know what's gonna happen. It's like mm-hmm. like, you know, if it's a certain scene that they've done before, but like I, I read a lot of romance novels. So if I, if it's the romance part of the book, you know what it's going to be. They get together, flowery, flowery, sex, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So you don't have flowery, to read. Flowery, flowery, sex, whatever. You know, whatever. Whatever they do. Yes, you know. I just love that description of it. <laughs> but, like, you don't have to read everything because you know it's the same as the last chapter when they got together. It's more of the they same. They fuck. Move like, on. Right, exactly. So it's like, okay, I move on. <laughs> I moved on. We did that. Bam. Mm-hmm. But when you're on the amazing race and you're given a detour, a task, a lot of uh, another, and this is another situation where I'm like, have you not watched the show? Mm-hmm. Have you not watched the show? Because a lot of people get tripped up by stupid stuff like jumping in a cab when it's a walk, mm-hmm. um, or you have to do it in this order instead yeah. of this order, and they have to go back and do mm-hmm. it again because they messed up. Read the dang task from beginning to the end so you don't miss anything. The Amazing Race is really a, just a test of comprehension skills. Honestly. <laughs> Honestly. Like. <laughs> oh, it literally. Like, read. Understand. So Take a minute. Pause. Pray. And proceed. proceed. And when like, you pray, it don't have to be a get on your knees. Dear Lord Jesus. It just, it's just like. Lord, do something with this. And then you can go. You just have to take that 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 mm-hmm. exhale. When you when you pause, that's the when you pray and when you proceed, that's when you it can be take so a, quick just period. Like that. Period. Just like <laughs> literally take a minute, look at the clue, pause, read it, pray, Lord help me through it, and now proceed. Exactly. And it, it works for it works. every Thing. Every time, whatever Lord you decide you want to worship with or not worship or whatever you do, but just take a minute to breathe and read these clues and get mm-hmm. and this and the fact that they did this again, <laughs> again. That's what was so frustrating. Again. It's like <laughs> right. <laughs> it was so very frustrating to me. I was like, I had high hopes for y'all in the beginning. Y'all flopped early on, and I was like, ugh. Yeah. But then they got to say, I would have been extra attentive to everything. Literally, no the first boot again. Again, <laughs> they Francesca. Like, they Francesca. They, they like literally, like I would have. That would have been the biggest thing I came back with, even if I had five minutes. If they called me ten minutes before it was time to leave to go to mm-hmm. uh, Switzerland, I'm like, look, we got to read everything. We got mm-hmm. to read. Every, that's the conversation we having on the plane ride from uh, wherever we are to Switzerland. The whole time we yep. got to read everything, mm-hmm. every detail. Figure out what we're doing before we just start doing stuff. Yeah, 
And they just, they are literally, if you look up the word flop in the dictionary, their picture is right there. Uh But thank you for your services. Uh, Thank you for your services, but you are flops. You were nice to look at for another episode. (laughs) But flops. And I'm so mad to say that about y'all because I really like them so much. I really want to better for them. So that was the belt one, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. What was the other? Um, it was the flat. Fawn and Schwingen. Fawn and Schwingen. Fawn and Schwingen. I actually love that one. And I was yeah. like, I, I, w- I would love and And people did really well with it. Like, uh-huh. it wasn't too much struggling happening with Fawn and Schwingen. Some people had more times than others, but pretty much. Well, I was going to say the other big thing that happens is Ryan and Dusty at one point, like going into a commercial break, were like, mm, should we switch detours? And I was like, mm-hmm. please switch. I'm like, no, nah, baby, we finishing this out. <laughs> I was like, I was like, that I want them to feels switch. like I, I, I just like to... Mo were doing though. I don't feel like they would have been eliminated, but no, they still wouldn't have been eliminated. And but then, I, wanted, no, I wanted them to switch just so they can take more time and not sure. be first. But not but. only, <laughs> not only did they not switch, they end up beating out Kim and Penn. Yeah, to get out of this uh, detour first. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's, it's only because Kim and Penn just had a little mistake here and there, and I'm like, dang it. Yeah, well, Kim had a whole moment as well, which I felt bad for because, like, I understand like the anxiety of this situation. Mm-hmm. Like, this is leg one. Again, Again. Like, mm-hmm. so I understand that like the anxiety and the the nerves were there trying to get and through. She's a trying smaller to framed woman, she's those a... things are freaking super long. And what I love the most is, and I said this um, a couple episodes ago with um, was it Carrie, Kim, and Kim? Mm-hmm. the the woman who had the baby, Sam and Kim. yeah. When, Connie and Sam. Happening and I would I just assumed that he was gonna be like, You're fuck, you're done, you're blah blah blah. I was just mm-hmm. like I just always get like that sense with like men like older men, like alpha type. I just I don't know. It just yeah. I'm like, please don't be a douchebag. Her husband was like, you know, it's fine, babe. He gave her a kiss. He he mm-hmm. wasn't like, you need to you come on, just fight through it. Let's just go. Blah, blah. He mm-hmm. wasn't like an asshole about it. And that's so refreshing to yes. see in couples. Cause mm-hmm. that, you know, the dynamic with those those type of couples you really think he just looks like the type that would like grab her by the arm and be like you know you're embarrassing me right mm-hmm. you know we're and so i just was like and when the fact that, that that didn't happen and he let her like shake it off and just mm-hmm. my arm hurts give me a, a one minute it's not gonna like be kill you it's this. not yeah it's not yeah a minute is not going to be the detriment of your race. You just need to right. take that minute. And it doesn't matter because they got second. So. Right. It's, it was it was a good. I like the detours. Mm-hmm. I, I, I like the detours. I felt like the flag one was easier. But mm-hmm. I think the this belt would have been. It's, I don't think the belt was difficult. It was just following instructions. The the, the belt task was self-explanatory, mm-hmm. whereas the flag task is like, if you get it, you yeah, get it. it. And if you get and that's with a lot of the detours. Like, if you mm-hmm. get it, you get it. And if you don't, you really don't. Right. Like, and I'm, I'm sorry. I'm still not over the the Scotland one. The the trousers. Like, I will not ever be. I, I, kept, I, hear, I heard that shit in my dreams. Like, I'm like, not this. <laughs> I was like, not through this. I'm going like that. <laughs> but the thing I did like about the flags is they didn't have to like do it to music or whatever. They could be like, okay, over the sh-. when they were ex- when they were doing it while explaining it, and that's nice because like if I mess up or if I'm starting to forget something, Lana can be like, okay, under the thing. I'm like, oh yeah, okay, now I remember. Over right. The head. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, bah. And I was like, that's yeah. what, I, that's what, yes, what Agbar was doing that with him and Sherry. Yeah. I was like, that's brilliant that you would do it because, like, if I'm standing there, I'm like, okay, I know it. Just follow me over the head, around, mm-hmm. under, over, down, up, bah. If you uh, listen, stir, throw stir it. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like I thought that was great. And so I was like, yes, that makes sense. I was very happy with them. I was very proud of Sherry and Agbar for coming back from mm-hmm. being dead last off the mountain 
to getting into that detour and just doing it. And like, mm -hmm. they were not even close to last. No. You would think coming off of that, uh, the uh, roadblock being so far behind that they mm -hmm. would, they would never catch up, but they did. And then they bypassed people. So it was you like, would, you would have thought they were a part of the, the right before the final team that doesn't get eliminated runs. And it's like the right. back and forth, the, mm -hmm. the coming, no. who's it going to be? No. No, they were not. They not bypassed Agbar's you. Here. Not Akbar is here. They bypassed nope. people. And I was like, nope. I am so proud of them. Yes. Not only did she overcome her fear and and be able to climb that mountain and do mm -hmm. finish it. Then they got to the detour, steamroll, just killed it. Yep. On their first attempt, got on up out of there. I was yep. like, so let's go down the order of who made it win and what. I know you got that list. I sure do. So <laughs> Ryan and Dusty do win another leg. This is their second mm -hmm. win. Good for you. Mm -hmm. um, second was Kim and Penn, very close mm -hmm. behind. Mm -hmm. uh, Raquel and Kayla and Lulu and mm -hmm. Lala, both, it was a sprint for this third place. <laughs> So I, was like, I was like, I love this, but also this is not necessary, but also I love this. Like, we would have all walked in together. I'm like, yeah. Unless, we unless yeah. I wonder I wonder if they get paid differently based on their placing, but I feel like that would be unfair. Because they get like stipends per leg. I, I'm yeah. curious. I don't think so, because I feel like it's just like regardless of where you place, plus like well, I think I mean, if that's the case, I may have to trip some of Yeah, because they right. got what? Um, Ryan and Dusty got what? Like 3000 each or something like that? 2500 2500 yeah. It was, I was like, it's somewhere around there. I yeah. assume that's probably going to be most of the prizes this season, because like you still can't really travel anywhere safely. Right. Uh, so. Unless it's like domestic or like within North America, maybe. Um, I have a question. They, um, uh, so I know a lot of the, the, I know a lot of the answers to the questions I have, but I always mm -hmm. say them cause I'm like, maybe I missed something or maybe mm -hmm. they haven't, no one has done a rewind or pause, right? There's they been no, done. there's been no rewind. There's been no, they don't get turn, right in this, no fast no forwards. Apps, no fast forwards. Yeah. Or not rusty, like rusty. Well, they're right. they gonna get them. They're gonna see yeah. the opportunity to be like, yeah, they've been winning a lot. Of Absolutely. Outfits, let's if and if if any team is ahead of them, like yes. they're bye bye. But yeah, they have so, to turn them. If you don't, you turn them. Then either I don't know either, what's the problem. Either them or Kim and Penn. Yep. Like, um, guaranteed. Yep. So Ryan and Rusty are the only um, all male teams yep. left, right? Yep. Yes. Because Anthony Spencer didn't come back. And neither did uh, Isaiah and Taylor. And we'll talk like about the other one. I feel like the twins and the flight attendants should, Absolutely. where the strategy stuff comes in, be like, hey, like, we really like working with y'all. Like, you know, let's kind of, you know, these alpha boys are kind of doing it. I, I mean, that's personal. <clears throat> I don't I mean, know the logistics of how everything works. They actually said that on the mat when they got to the mat with Phil. Mm -hmm. And they were like, you know, we want to win. We want the girls to do well because we haven't had a girl winner. And we want, and Phil was like, he was like, we wanted to, you know, knock some of these men down a peg. And Phil was like, I mean, any particular team that you feel, they were like, I mean, it's some cocky teams out there, but, you know, we're not going to say who they are, but Rusty, you know. And Bye. so they, Bye. they, they peep in game and they mm -hmm. know. And obviously, like stuff we don't see when they're after the pit stop, I feel like it sounds to me that maybe Rust, uh, Ryan and Dusty be talking a little, you know, popping gums. Mm -hmm. And these girls are like, y'all, these men, the mansplaining and the, the, the cocky talk, like we know we go do. It only take one thing to slip you up mm -hmm. in this race. And all they yeah, need is a moment to be behind. So I looked it up because I was curious. The last all female team to win was on season 25. It was Amy and Maya, the food scientists. Mm, I do remember them. But That's 25. The last time. So that was eight seasons ago. So it's been eight, eight seasons, seasons since an all woman, an all female team has won. I think it's due. Jeez. I mean, time sure. is due. But but I'd be if we fine with have, that. I'll be fine with the all women team or a married couple team. Just saying. 
or a saying, father and daughter or a father, or and, daughter father and daughter team. By the yeah. way, we did not mention um the uh, they got married. Natalia got married over the 19 months. So yeah. She Good got for married. You, girl. And her husband was like, You're leaving again for a month. And he was he was like, Yep, back on the road with my dad. Yeah, so bye. for a million dollars, yes, I will. Yeah. <laughs> I get five hundred thousand of this before taxes. Like, right. do you want if that we, money or do you not want that money? Right. right. So and her husband was very much happy that and Good. was very like, Yes, please go enjoy yeah. the race. Finish the race with your dad, especially yeah. since they got out before. So I just wanted to mention that because we didn't mention yes, that. Yes, 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 yes. Married, yes. So. so Raquel and Kayla win the race them out. They get third, Lulu and Lala get fourth. Akbar and Sherry in a triumphant feat of fun and schwingen, uh end up in fifth. Yeah. Um, and then it's a it's a fight because these other two teams keep getting lost and they're known for getting lost and they just keep getting lost. Um, but Arun and Natalia make it to the mat, and Mike and Mo get eliminated again. You know what sucks for me about this? I hate it. I hate it that it came down to Mike and Mo and Arun and again, Natalia. again. Mm-hmm. Like the two teams that came back made no improvement whatsoever. None whatsoever. And that makes me that makes me think that they didn't have as much time. I really think they found out at the last minute that they were coming yeah. back because they had to make sure that all the other teams weren't going to come back. So I don't yeah. think they were going to invite them back eventually. You know, I don't, think they, were I don't think they were going to come back, but because four teams didn't come back or couldn't come back, they had to do something. It's, so I think they got left. It's difficult to run a multi-episode race with five teams. With, yes, because there would be so many non-eliminations, and that sucks. Like that's boring. Which I was gonna, I was that was gonna be my like final question. Unless we have anything else to talk about, do we th- like how many of those legs do we think we're gonna have? Or like, do we I think, think th- there's gonna be any non-eliminations? I feel like we might get one. I think I we might this one's gonna be a non. Like, I really I, thought I was, was hoping this one would be a non. I really Me wanted too. this one to be a non-elimination round because I feel like give them another time to fully get their feet back into this race mm-hmm. yeah. and let people because like we already mo Mike and Mo <sighs> Paul things they didn't even really get their foot in in the last time they were there so, because we didn't see them they they didn't do well and then they, and were they gone. didn't this time they didn't do well and then the the second leg was a non elimination which I was like that sucks like the first leg should have been a non elimination and then the second leg should have been the elimination <laughs> because they gave everybody a chance to run these race, you know, really get their mm-hmm. feet wet. And so I was hoping that they would do that again, like make this leg a non-elimination so we could still have all the teams. But I think we might get at least one or two more non-elimination legs before this race is over. Well, so there's six teams left and presumably if it's a 10 episode season, which most are, it would mean that there would be six more episodes with six teams. But so, remember, like it might be some two-hour episodes as well. There might be there might be some mm. two-hour. There might be a like we had with like two into like three. Mm-hmm. It's like oh, it's a non-elimination, or it's an oh, we're still racing, right? Because they like to do that in these recent seasons. They like to mm-hmm. like continue everything, which I also like as well. Especially if there's a location that they really want to uh, film in, which I've heard a few rumors about some of the locations. I think there's actually a new one, allegedly. Ooh. Um. Skip ahead 30 seconds if you don't want to hear. Allegedly, one of the new locations is Crete, the island of Crete, which I love. Okay. I don't think they've been there before. They've been to, like, all the other islands in the Mediterranean. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just not Crete. Um, I would be a nerd about that because I love ancient Greek art. So, like, I would be like, oh, my God, yes, the whole time. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so I think we're going to get a few... I think we're going to get a 10 episode season regardless because that's probably what it was going to be before mm-hmm. with with the non eliminations the continuing legs. We'll see. Um and that's episode 3ish/4 kind of. We're going to say 3. I say it says 4, it's going to be 4. It's 4. It's 4, <laughs> whatever it is. Whatever they say goes. It's sure. sure. <laughs> I think Paramount Plus splits up the premiere into two. I, I think, think so. Thing. Maybe. Um, so it'll be something. Whatever. Y'all will have already seen what episode number we call it. So, <laughs> um, 
but yes so that is that uh i believe i was gonna ask who we're all rooting for but i think the number one for all of us is probably akbar and sherry i'm rooting for them i'm rooting for the girls all the girls i'm rooting for the girls i'm like too. rooting for everyone except for too- except for rusty, rusty. <laughs> Honestly, that is unfortunate. Oh, everyone, everyone is so likable. I mean, like the guys aren't like super dislikable. They're not dislikable at all for me. It's just eh. it's typical. It's cliche. I don't want cliche, but they're not bad people. I don't. I don't absolutely agree. It's definitely people on seasons before prior that I'm like, ugh, I don't like them. I don't Mm -hmm. want them to succeed. I don't like the team. I don't like this person. So, but this season, there has been nobody that I'm like, I wouldn't root for them. I wouldn't be mad at Ray. Ray, I wouldn't, I wasn't even that mad at Ray. I just thought he had a nasty attitude. And I'm like, he can fix that. If I think if, if they went on longer in the race, either one, either he could fix it. Or he he would turn mm-hmm. into that guy, like he could turn into the guy that I'm like I just don't like. Even, sure. But at that point, I was just like I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt, bro, because you're bro. I gotta mm-hmm. give you the benefit of the doubt. Fix it, totally. fix it fast, mm-hmm. but fix mm-hmm. it fast. But so he wasn't that guy. But there was there's nobody who I'm like I don't like. I I don't dislike Ryan and Dusty. I don't dislike them. Yeah. I just don't feel like. I want them to win. I just, I'm just not into them to win. Heard it before, seen it before. Seen it before, like, got mm-hmm. the t shirt, seen it, done it. But I'm just like, I would rather see somebody who is, who really had a struggle in this race. And, and right now they have not struggled. They just breeze through everything. And I don't like that. I don't want to see that. And, and it's not that they fault. It's not their fault that they breeze through everything. It's not their fault that they're good. It's not that. It's just, I just want to see, if I'm going to see a show, I want it to be something that's, I want to root for, I root for the underdogs. Sure. They're not the only dogs. Yeah, you Sorry were gonna say, you you were gonna say something, Lana, as well. Yeah, yeah. We talk about the pre- preview for next week. Because... Oh, I didn't watch it. <gasps> oh, okay. So tell me okay. all about it, please. Okay, so you mentioned bungee jumping. They are going to be bungee jumping. Yay! So I'm excited. It's nice to see, but the preview. Sherry is bungee jumping and doing the task again. And I'm like, Akbar, what are you doing? You're not going to do it? You Ma'am. you, you know, she, pops for Sherry. That's that's my bitch right there. She bad. Kudos. Kudos right there, Miss Sherry. Yes. Kudos we don't know and motherfucking right for Miss Sherry. I mean, because like, we don't, we, they, of course, they don't show if she did it or not. They just show her like, Seriously panicking, having a moment of anxiety, and I'm just like, we watched normally, her struggle on these heights. Why are we making her do it again right behind that? And it's just, to me, I want to know what was the process. Did she volunteer again? Did, <coughs> was he just well, like too like is bungee jumping a hard limit for him? Which, if it is, I understand because it's yeah. things I'm just not going to do. I can't do that. Yeah. So. If that's one of his limits, if they talked about that, like if it's a bungee jumping, baby, I can't do it. Mm-hmm. And she said, well, I'm going to have to do it. Then it is what yeah. it is. But kudos to Sherry yes. for even attempting to do this. If she if she goes through it, that'd be great. If she don't, I don't know. We'll know. But that's the preview. Did they did they say where the, where they're going? Did not say where, but they just showed them on a, a, a dam and they're jumping off so- of Probably Europe. Probably somewhere. Or North Africa, maybe. I'm thinking they're staying in Europe this time. It looks very, it looked like a European kind of town. Maybe, do we think they're staying in Switzerland, maybe? They might stay in Switzerland. Or they could go either, maybe to like a Norway it, or... It turns into a race around Switzerland. Right. <laughs> so just go to different, country, different just, cities in Switzerland. I mean, because I feel like they have very limited places they can go now. Yeah. So mm-hmm. they'll do two legs in one place, which that makes, makes a sense, lot of sense. Which is why they did two legs in London, and then they were in Scotland. Mm-hmm. And I feel like they could stay in Switzerland for a leg or two, and you know, or they can go to Norway or Denmark or Amsterdam. Like yeah. it's places they can go. But the fact that they were, it looked like a very European town that they were sure. in. So 
but I don't know what. But I just saw the bungee jumping, and since you mentioned bungee jumping, I was like, that's, <laughs> yes. ah, come on, Miss Sherry. Come I know, on, right? Yes, I'm excited. This season has me captivated in a way that I'm very happy The Amazing Race has, because, like, the last couple of seasons, I've been like, okay, let me let me let a few episodes rack up, and then I'll watch them all at once and get it over with. But this season, I'm like, I need the new episode now. Give it to me <laughs> Um, and especially with how much we have going on in the next couple of weeks starting up, this is going to be a very nice, you know, palate cleanser every Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. I don't have to worry about whether the show is going to be good because it's going to be good because this mm-hmm. cast is good and they're playing to win. Like, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm excited. I'm very excited. I'm, I'm ready for this is when this is when I wish Razor Race was on like Netflix and they drop all the episodes right. at once. So I can be like, oh, all right. Oh. <laughs> Could you imagine? Could you imagine? I think, that's how, I think that's how the Canadian version has worked in the past couple of seasons, actually. Oh, really? I yeah. need that. I need that. I need all of the shows like Survivor, Amazing Race, yes. Big Brother even, but you can't or, do Big Brother. At the very least, do what the circle does and chunk them. So that way you get, a, you get a good amount of content and then you're still like salivating for mm-hmm. more week by week. I mean, I'm greedy. I hate three episodes at once because sure. then I get three. I get to get as soon as I get into it, and then it's like, oh, now you gotta wait till next week for the next three. As someone, who, as someone who podcasted about the circle, I appreciated it because it was we chunked it. Mm-hmm. We did our little episodes. It was I a real cute circle. moment. But oh, yeah, I love the circle. The circle is when it comes one. out. If we have time, uh, we'll be talking about that too. Oh, we'll, we'll talk about it. Oh, about we will, look, we will talk about it. Even if Lana's talking about it by I'll talk about it by myself, but we will <laughs> talk about the circle. I think I will, all five I think all five of us are actually circle fans. So I will I will get in this in this little room here and I'm like, here's our daily chat about the circle. And this is what I see, think. Um James and uh James and yes. Hannah Chata and Hannah's, out. I was yes. like, yes. Wait, James, Hannah, um, they have uh, that whole thing. The whole little circle crew. Oh, Jack yep. is there. Mm-hmm. And uh, what's the girl's name? Oh, I was uh, going to say, I was going to say the, um, all the black people getting together. Are you talking about Big Brother Black Weekend? That yeah. was, yeah. But no, the circle crew was hanging out with oh, him. Oh, were they all? Yeah, because it was, uh, what was her, uh, what was the girl's name? K- uh, with the K. Oh, good Lord. Oh, no. The gay one oh, or the not No, gay the one? girl. The black girl. Oh, my God. Oh, um. So I was like, it was K. 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 It was Literally K. K. <laughs> it was K. Literally K. Yeah, but K and James and Jack oh, and cute. Hannah, and they were all hanging out together. Cute. I love that. It was cute. I know someone, fun fact, I know another um, podcaster on YouTube that lives like three doors down from the gays that won the last season. Oh. She tweeted about it the other day. I was like, Y'all live close together? Okay, work. (laughs) Sure. I think that's, look, that is another one, a show I want to go on. I would love The Circle, even though I hate. You would slay at The Circle. Mm -hmm. I love The Circle so much. I was like, oof, I would do it. We can't vote out. Would you go in as yourself? See, I've been going back and forth about that. I'm like, I would go in as a younger version of myself. Ooh, T. I will go in as a young, like, it probably won't be my picture, but I'll probably do, like, okay, so. <laughs> she, she she got this. Okay, okay. Between, so. I, look, between you and me, I know the person who I would picture I would use, but I'm not saying it on here just in case somebody try to pick that up, but I tell y'all off camera who the person sure. would be. Um, But I had, I would still be me. Mm-hmm. I would still be me. I will still do what Lana does, but use somebody else's picture mm-hmm. to be the younger version of myself. Mm-hmm. I think I would I would probably go in as myself, but just embellish things a little bit more. Mm. Like I it would be my personality because I think I, I, I would be like enough like charismatic enough mm-hmm. to like do well. Mm-hmm. Um probably use my photos. I always thought about the idea of like going in as this as a straight man. I always thought that would be, like, an interesting, like, I don't think I could do it, but I always, like, I think that would be, in like, an interesting angle to run, mm-hmm. but I also would want to go in and, like, want to be everyone's gay best friend. 
Right. Like, oh, come here, honey. Oh, that man's treating you wrong. No, let's let's get top of the rankings. And let's vote him out together. Like, see, I think you, you if you would try to go in as a straight man, you would slip up so many times because you'd be like, Ooh, oh, sis. I'm like, oh, Logan. <laughs> 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 I'm like, Logan, I, slow down. Or, or I thought maybe about going in as like bisexual. So that way I could play both angles and like still be like, bro, if I need to, because I know how to do that. I've mm -hmm. done it. Mm -hmm. So like I I could do that, but also like there's a lot of angles I've thought about. Not yeah. that I probably would ever apply. I, 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 started, I, I started applying. I actually tried started the application and I was like, uh no, okay, no. <laughs> I've, applied I for, I've applied for other things, but I, got I get scared a lot, but okay. <laughs> but with that, yeah. our little our little circle tangent to end the episode. Sure, why not? <laughs> you have amazing ways. It's still about you, but yes, yes, of course. <laughs> Thank you all so much for joining us for another episode of our amazing race coverage. We will be back next Saturday discussing episode five. We're saying definitively it's episode five. Yes, because this is episode four. It's episode five. We'll be back talking all about it. Um. In somewhere where there's bungee jumping. Mm -hmm. So with that, besties, thanks for joining again. And cheers to you all. Cheers. Goodbye. Goodbye now. Bye Goodbye now. now. Bye now. Bye. 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 <laughs> We're gonna Bye. Go Bye. Why are you I'm, here? Okay. I'm leaving. <laughs> so you have to go. Girl. Oh.